Hi, I'm Hoodie here, and this is a tribute to all the forgotten beasts that have tried and failed to infiltrate my fort while I've been working on my latest project. Times are tough for forgotten beasts in New Dwarf City right now. They used to be able to just walk on in, and as long as they didn't come into contact with any of my dwarves, they could settle down somewhere in the caverns and kill plump helmet men to their heart's content. But now, when a giant gila monster with lidless eyes, or a three-eyed woodpecker with a trunk, come to lay claim to the fortress, they risk showing up on the wrong lair and being torn apart by tarantula fiends, or being burnt to death by specters of flame in the underworld. And even if they do come to the right lair of the cavern, like the towering hairy unicorn shrimp, or the noseless humanoid coyote did, it is filled to the brim with cavern dwellers, who have laid claim to every inch of the caves, and have no problem stabbing a large shrimp to death. And then, even if everything goes right for a forgotten beast, like the bloated three-eyed warbler who managed to pick the right layer and avoid the pockets of reptile people, they still risk running into a humanoid vomit creature who had already made that layer their territory. If there is no solidarity between a warbler and sentient vomit, then what hope do forgotten beasts have for getting themselves established? It's no wonder a gigantic scaly snail would want to take its rhythmic undulations somewhere else. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, and without sticking together, forgotten beasts are just getting left behind. They should take notes from the goblins in my labyrinth. They never resorted to killing one another, even when they were throwing tantrums on toppling statues. And for that, they were rewarded with a golden jailbreak opportunity, when one of them smashed the labyrinth's entrance bridge, freeing them all from their prison. Of course, they all got killed by my soldiers. Breaking out of jail and shooting civilians with your crossbow is a good way to get your arm and head chopped off. But that's not important. They were always going to die, but at least they died together. Forgotten beasts could even turn to their fellow procedurally generated monsters, the demons, and take note of how all different kinds of demons work together, from the humble slate grey monster to the powerful stegosaurid demon. The demons were so in sync, they were even having demon babies in the walls. Forgotten beasts could learn a thing or two from that. And I hope they do, because otherwise New Dwarf City might not be the place for them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.